Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. This video is uh, about a new discovery in HIV that can potentially help convert functional cures into complete cures. In the next video due next week, I'll be providing a review of three new mRNA vaccines for HIV in clinical trials with FDA. However, before we proceed, I request that while watching this video, please consider pressing the like button and also please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me uh, keep motivated in doing more uh, search and uh, uh, more contents like this and uh, bring them to you. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. Let me first start by talking about the stealth mode of HIV where it lies dormant. This feature helps it avoid being killed by antiretrovirus therapy. If a functional cure is active and all the dormant HIV load can be activated, then there is a tantalizing possibility that HIV can be completely eliminated from the body. Scientists have been investigating ways to tease HIV out of the reservoir uh, using latency reversal agents so that it may be exposed to immune cells. Now we have news that vaccination with the SARS-CoV-2 mRNA vaccine revealed HIV hiding in immune cells in blood from people with HIV, according to lab research led by Wheel Cornell Medical Investigators. Senior author Dr. Brad Jones, an associate professor of immunology in medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at Wheel Cornell Medicine, said that uh, there is prior knowledge of the flu vaccine, for example, waking up HIV and exposing it to the immune system but it has been unclear whether that was only happening in the flu-specific T cells, a known place where HIV hides. For that research, member of Dr. Jones's lab uh, treated blood from individuals with HIV who had been uh, un unvaccinated and had never had COVID-19 uh, and they subjected the blood to uh, Pfizer, BioNTech or Moderna COVID-19 mRNA vaccine in test tubes. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine produced a greater release of HIV RNA Next, the researchers analyzed blood from individuals with HIV before COVID-19 vaccination and after each of two shots. In particular, they found that CD8 plus T cells that targeted cells marked by an early gene product of HIV called NEF or NEF had uh, released the protein granzyme B, a robust marker of recent attempts by CD8 plus T cells to kill HIV. Now, let us pause to understand at a high level what NEF and granzyme B are. The accessory NEF protein is expressed by all primate lentiviruses, HIV T, sorry, HIV-1 and HIV-2 and uh, simian immune deficiency virus, SIV. Its expression is the early stage in the early stages in, of the viral life cycle ensures two basic attributes of HIV infection. These are T cell activation and the establishment of persistent state of infection. Granzyme B or GRB is one of the serine uh, protease granzymes uh, most commonly found in the granules of natural killer cells or NK cells and cytotoxic uh, T cells. They induce programmed cell death in target cell, thus eliminating cells that have either become cancerous or are infected with viruses or bacteria. Now coming back to uh, when the researchers analyze the blood from the individuals with HIV before COVID-19 vaccine and after each of the two shots in particular, they found that killer CD8 plus T cells that target cells marked by an early gene product of HIV called NEF had released the protein granzyme B, a robust marker of recent attempts by the CD8 plus T cells to kill HIV. This response observed after the first shot was correlated with a subsequent reduction in HIV RNA, suggesting some elimination of infected cells by the boosted CD8 plus T cells. Uh, well, this is a very interesting development. If latent HIV can be flushed into the open, antiretroviral or functional cures can potentially comprehensively eliminate HIV as logic dictates. We need to see this get into HIV therapy in uh, clinical trials to demonstrate complete cure in conjunction with a functional cure of or uh, ART. Dr. Jones said that their lab studies found no evidence that exposing HIV reservoirs in an infected individual using mRNA vaccination would pose a risk of transmissions to others. They observed no appreciable level of HIV RNA in blood plasma following vaccine boost and uh, expected uh, continued ART would block any potential HIV replication. Another discovery in the same area is that the mechanism used by HIV to go dormant has been discovered. More about that in the video next week. Uh, it takes me some time to read, reference, understand and validate information before presenting it to you. 
I decided, uh, I decide then whether it's worth putting it into a video if I feel confident. So please bear with me till then while I work on the next video. The Martin Delaney collab uh, collaboratories are the flagship NIH funding mechanism for HIV cure research. The grant that they provide will fund a whale coronal medicine based research uh, known as REACH or research enterprise to advance a cure for HIV and that is led by Dr. Brad Jones, Associate Professor of Immunology in Medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at uh, Whale Cornell Medicine. You will all be glad to know that in the August of this year, Whale Cornell Medicine was awarded 28.5 million NIH grant to lead HIV cure research. Now let me add a few more points of my own. Nowhere does this study suggest any negative attributes to uh, COVID vaccine. It is just showing that some mechanism in the vaccine may help flush out dormant HIV and let the ART do its job. That's all from me for uh, today. Overall, I'm very optimistic that a functional cure uh, soon will be followed by a complete cure. Uh, and uh, that's the trajectory I'm expecting because uh, these trials take a bit of time to uh, get over. And if you recollect from our earlier interviews with uh, uh, AGT, uh, that somewhere around 20, uh, 2025 or 2026, we'll have a functional cure potentially approved by the FDA. Uh, if that happens, uh, then the first block will be in place. And I suppose that by around that time, we would have had more advances. I think that more research is needed to understand uh, exactly what is the implication of uh, flushing out uh, latent HIV uh, and also to study how antiretroviral will um, uh, react uh, and uh, how much of a cure that can be. Uh, there is, needs to be a lot of clinical trials and uh, more experiments done in that area. And uh, also there needs to be some uh, efforts potentially to find out if there are any other reservoirs where uh, latent HIV hides, which is not flushed out by the mRNA vaccine. So there is a long way to go, uh, but we at least are starting to uh, unravel pieces of the riddle. And uh, of course, uh, next week I'm going to come up with a video where I'll be talking about the new discovery of uh, how HIV uh, virus, uh, what mechanism HIV virus uses to go lat uh, latent. Maybe all these pieces of information uh, can uh, become uh, the source of new research and enter the clinical uh, trials potentially maybe uh, towards uh, late next year. And then uh, the next uh, stage in the cure would be uh, to uh, incorporate that as well. And hopefully that can lead to a complete cure of HIV. So those are my thoughts. Uh, and of course, so guys, as you know, I'm not a scientist or a doctor. I'm just an investment, uh, uh, investment guy. I'm looking at most of these uh, genomic companies from an investment perspective. And these videos I'm making just because there has been a lot of demand for information and I'm just responding to that. So always make sure that you talk to a professional before taking any health decisions. Um, and uh, this information should always be validated with a trusted source uh, before uh, you take any action. With that said, um, I think I would like to bring this video to an end. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.